we think that actually they can easily be incorporated into people's daily lives. Instead of having nuts or crisps while watching you know, the football, you can have some roasted crickets. At most restaurants, you'd probably complain if you found a bug in your dinner. But at Eat Grub, that's exactly the point. Eat Grub is a startup, uh, and we focus on something pretty special. Uh, we focus on promoting insects as a food source that are tasty, nutritious, and sustainable. Co founders Shami and Neil are seeking to change attitudes about the use of insects in cooking. We knew that there were quite a number of countries that were actually eating insects on a daily basis. I did a lot of travelling, going to countries where you know, I was given lots of different food. Uh, and one of the places it took me to Malawi where I tried termites, flying ants for the first time. So I tried them and I thought they were really nice. Um, and then doing a bit more research about sustainability, how much you know, water is used in agriculture, whereas actually insects are a sustainable source of protein. Crickets are 69% protein, really high in things like iron, calcium, zinc. They have the complete nutritional profile and we call them the original superfoods. One of the first things we did, we actually got all our mates around and we found uh, a place that sold frozen locusts online. So we ended up with chilli and honey locusts that we had roasted in the oven. And the thing that we mostly learned from the research was that we didn't actually know how to cook insects. So we realised we had to get a chef on board and you know, that's where Seb came in. Neil and Shami reached out to Seb Holmes, professional chef and owner of Thai street food restaurant Farang. You just need a beer with it, right? Mm. You chop me the shrimps? Yeah. They came along and uh, organised me and me in a, in a pub in in Shoreditch and it's kind of like a bit of a dodgy drug deal. I met them there and they got loads of Tupperware containers out with different insects in. So at the moment we, we use four insects very regularly, um, which are grasshoppers, mealworms, crickets and buffalo worms. Uh, so these ones are known as the Akita domesticus, which is known as the house cricket. And they've got, taste like a, quite like a nutty shrimp. And if you roast them with soy sauce, they actually have a slightly bacon-like taste. So sustainable bacon. What's not to like? Compare it to cooking, say, dried shrimp or peanuts, more, more than cooking a chicken breast or like a lamb shank. But um, the methods still are the same. So we're sitting in what will be the restaurant on Sunday. By, by day, it's uh, a Thai restaurant called Farang, and our, our chef Seb runs that. And then every last Sunday of the month, we run Eat Grub, the ultimate insect pop up. It's kind of like, it starts with a snack, so it's like a, a pandan crickets, which is like a nutty salt and pepper crickets, basically. And then we go for a cricket flour miang. It's got like fresh ginger, peanuts, coconut, served in a betel leaf. And then after that, we have a play on tempura shrimp um, with tempura grasshoppers, because pe people call them prawns of the sky. <laughs> After that we go for a mee grop salad, so it's like a crispy vermicelli noodle salad with a buffalo worm. And then served alongside that we have a somtam salad, green papaya salad, uh, made fresh in a pestle and mortar. We just use crispy smoked crickets rather than uh, shrimps, as you would traditionally. And then to finish off we do a grasshopper praline ice cream. Did I enjoy the meal? Yes, I did enjoy the meal very, very much. It was like a little food adventure. So one that stood out for me was the very first course, which is kind of like insects wrapped in beetle leaf. I've never tried anything like this before. Super, like loads of different textures together with the insects inside the leaves. It was perfect. If they were on a menu combined with something super interesting, I would definitely try again. Eat Grub continues to grow, with Neil, Shami and Seb planning more pop-up restaurant experiences in the near future. We feel that, you know, it's one thing me telling you to try insects, but it's another thing if you're able to come down, try some of the food for yourself, uh, and then go away and tell 10 other people how amazing the food was. We're trying to change the taboo by creating really positive, exciting, and most of all, tasty experiences.